Hello educators, my name is Ana Cristina Andrade and this is my international game presentation. What I've chosen today is orienteering. This is my interactive newsletter. At the top we can see a virtual Google Earth of Sweden where it all originated from. We have the official homepage of the International Orientation Federation. If you just click on it, it'll take you straight there. We have what type of game is this? We want to know what type of game is this? And we also have a brief rules video of a small child explaining it to us from his point of view as well. Right here, I have a picture of the Orienteering USA website as well as the International Orientation Federation. Right here, check out this short clip of my or of the world of orienteering that I've created. Let's go on to the next page, which is the country of origin, and I'll let you know here that it was originated from Sweden. And then you can also click on the link above the picture of the flag of Sweden, coming up here if you want to see where Sweden's at. Brief history and important dates. I had no idea that it was all the way back, dated all the way back to the 19th century, and it was actually used for military use, which makes a lot of sense because of all of the things and equipment that they have to use. We also see here, I have here pictures of the tools that they use way back when, in 1897, when the first competition opened up in Norway. We have some children right here doing some exploration and some orienteering, as well as over here we have the military. And you can click here for more information about the brief history and important dates. This is the type of game. What kind of game is this? Well, orienteering is a com very competitive international sports that combines racing with navigate with navigation. Basically, it's like running or walking in the woods, but you will have to follow a very specific and very routed, navigated through diverse and often unfamiliar ter terrains and visit control points in sequence. And you can do this because you will be following a map using a compass as well, and you will be having little machines that you have to go in there and click to let them know that you've been there. And it's a very highly detailed map. You can also click here and it'll take you straight to check out some more information about orienteering as well if you want to check out the US you can also click right here and it'll take you straight into the orientation um, USA website. These are some brief rules brief rules quote unquote brief rules because this is a long list of brief rules if you really want to know more of like a brief rule i suggest going up here to check out the small clip of the child explaining what orientation is and the rules um but the reason that they have so many rules is because it is a lot of safety precautions it is going through the woods or going through nature and you can't get lost and they have gotten lost but they always find their way back my summary of what i've learned i had no idea what or orienteering was until i saw the name on the list i chose this international game because i wanted to gain more knowledge of other games from around the world and so i wanted to expand my knowledge of other physical activities out there. Thank you so much for coming and checking out my page. Bye. Have a good one.